we've just been, I've just been to a meeting about the covered market and there's a dispute between the people in the covered market and the council about how much rent they should pay. This dispute has gone to arbitration and the arbiter has come out with a figure which the people in the covered market are willing to accept. Um, but now the council isn't. And uh, you can understand that that's caused a certain amount of frustration because the whole point of arbitration is that both parties accept the figure that the arbitrator comes up with. Um, if I was elected, I would support the figure that the arbitrator has come up with. Um, it seems a fairly reasonable figure. Um, and if it's a figure that the, the people in the current market would accept, I certainly will. I think it's really important that we try and maintain um, a space that's interesting with a variety of shops, a variety of services and products. And one of the things that came out tonight was what should happen in the long term. And it seemed that there were about four key ideas. Firstly, the area needs to be refurbished and the, the landlord, the council, hasn't, hasn't spent enough money on doing that. So that's one thing that needs to be done. The, the, the whole covered market needs to be cheered up. Secondly, um, the signage and other aspects of the access to both sides of the market seem to need to be improved so that people can find their way in and come through the market so that the total amount of traffic going through increases. Thirdly, in the future, when new um, units come up for, for rent because businesses have folded or moved on, the only businesses that should be allowed in there are local businesses. Now, there are legal constraints on that, but by being clever with the law and by seeing that space as a community asset, there's no reason why, as a councillor, you can't make sure that you get what you want.